Hi everyone, in this video, we will learn how to create Linux VM in Azure using SSH key to login. I'll also explain how to convert the PEM key into PPK key, which we use to log into Linux VM as a SSH key. Now I'm in the Azure portal. In the Azure portal, I'll click on create a resource. Then I'll search for RH here in the search bar, which will populate me some results. In the populated results, I'll click on RHL Linux 8.1 and then I'll click on create button, which will take me to create a virtual machine page. In this page, I'm going to select subscription as free trial. Resource group, I'm going to create a new resource group, which is test-rg01. Virtual machine name, I'm going to provide demo-vm. Remaining details, I'm not changing. Then I'm going to the authentication type where I'm going to select the authentication type as SSH public key. Username, I'm going to use it as Azure user. SSH public key source, I'm going to generate a new key pair because I don't have any existing key which I can use here. And then key pair name, I'm going to use the auto-populated key pair name, demo VM key. Then public inbound port, SSH 22 is enabled. The remaining tabs like disk, networking, management, advanced, tags, I'm not changing anything because I'm creating a basic Linux VM with SSH key to log in. So I'm clicking on review create, which will perform the final validation. Once the final validation is completed, it will show me the message validation passed. For the image I'm using, it required username, email address and mobile number, which I'm providing on the screen. And then I'm clicking on create button which will give me a window where I can download a key pair and then it will create the resource. So if you see the message which is populated on the above, after the SSH key resource created, you won't be able to download the key pair. So download the key pair and save it in a safe place where you can use it to log into the VM after the resource is created. Now you can see the key pair is downloaded and the deployment is initiated. Now we will use Kutigen software to generate private key.ppk from the downloaded key.pem. I have already downloaded the Kutigen software in my laptop. I will share the link in the video description for your reference where you can download the Kutigen software. Using Kutigen only, we can convert .pem key into .ppk key. Now I am installing the Kutigen application in my local laptop by using the downloaded installer file. Installation is very simple as we see on the screen. Once after the installation, we can use the Putigen software to generate the private key. You can see on the screen, the Putigen installation is completed. I'm clicking on finish button. Then I'm going to launch the Putigen application, which is installed in my local laptop. Then I'm going to click on load button to load the dot pem key which is the key we have downloaded during the azure linux virtual machine creation in the azure portal so now i'm going to load this key once i load it it will give me a successful message that means the key is imported and it is converted i'm going to click on save private key to save the key in my local machine now we can uh, browse the path where we want to store the private key so I'm going to store the private key in one of my local directory as vm-private key. Once I click on save, we can see on the background vm-private key is created. I'm going to Azure portal now. I can see the deployment is completed of my Azure virtual machine. I'm going to click on go to resource, which will take me to the virtual machine overview page. I'm going to copy the public IP address and I'm going to open the putty application is already installed in my laptop I'm going to paste the ip address then i'm going to expand the sss option and i'm going to click on authentication option and i'm clicking on browse to browse the private key i will select the private key and i'll click on open button which will launch the ssh connection with the azure virtual machine i'll click on accept here i'll provide the username as azure user after which it will authenticate using the private key which we have loaded in the putty. We can run any command to verify the status inside the virtual machine, like how I'm doing on the screen. So this is the short and simple video guys, how to create Azure Linux VM using SSH key to login and how we can convert 
dot PMK key which we download in Azure portal to dot PPK key by using the Putigen software. I will be uploading videos consistently in my channel Cloud Learner Pro. You can find lots of videos in our channel like this. And finally, thank you everyone for watching this video. If you feel the information I'm providing here is beneficial for you, please subscribe to the channel.